We're seeing low volatility across lots of markets, currencies, shares, bonds, but also oil and other commodities. But there's one common factor, the extraordinary grip central banks have over financial markets and economies. If interest rates are going to stay unchanged at low levels for a long time, there's much less for traders to trade. On top of that, you have economies that are stuck on slow growth paths and the increased regulatory costs of trading. Essentially, we're talking about the size of price changes, but investment experts also look at implied volatility indices, which measure expectations about future levels of volatility by looking at option prices. The VIX index is the most famous of these and is known as the Wall Street fear gauge. Calm markets might seem like good news, but they are not if they're simply the lull before the storm. Low volatility encourages complacency. Investors take bigger risks. That could increase the size of future market corrections, which is what central banks, such as the US Federal Reserve, worry about.